Ghana into bank payment systems and settlements limited. Gibbs says it's awaiting final approval for all public sector workers to be paid using the eSwitch platform five years after piloting the program. The GIPS platform was used by the National Service Secretariat to delete 35,000 ghost names from its payroll and ghost names on the public payroll accounts for about 300 million CDs annually. In 2011, a pilot program to pay salaries of some staff of the Controller and Accountant General's Department using the EaseWitch card was successfully executed. The project was to eventually pave way for public sector workers to receive their salaries through EaseWitch and help delete ghost names from the payroll. Five years after the EaseWitch pilot program, Gibbs says it is awaiting the Controller and Accountant General to roll out the project and help eradicate ghost names from government payroll. The Ghana National Anti-Corruption Action Plan says the generation of ghost names on public payroll costs the country about 300 million CDs annually. In terms of date, it's a question you have to ask the controller. We, from the system point of view, um, are ready. Um, I remember sometime late last year, we controller went through the whole processes and it's now in the act for government workers to be paid using the eSwitch platform. Speaking on the sidelines of the EDAPT GIPS Joint Conference for users of the eSwitch biometric payment technology, the acting executive director of the National Service Scheme, Dr. Michael Kwese White, said the platform is helping government save 140 million CDs a year from the National Service Secretariat. He said other government agencies should take advantage of the platform to stop corrupt practices of pardon names on the payroll. National Service is just a small institution which the president has basically said, look, let's get it right. And in my mind, we are getting it right. If we think of that in terms of other institutions, we, may, we probably will be saving a lot more money uh, for the state to pursue the developmental agenda. So